one way is to vote for our city. The fight against cancer is one of the biggest battles faced in society. I'm at the Point B guest house in Greenpoint, where marathon runner Sharon and Belinda is preparing to embark on a long marathon run to create awareness about cancer. As part of the Hope Run initiative, they are planning to run from Cape Town to Port Elizabeth in the next three weeks to show that they are firmly in support against the fight against cancer. Okay, I'm Sharon Jessup. I am a runner <laughs> and a boot camp instructor by trade and I am doing the High Five Hope Run with Belinda. Yes, hi, I'm Belinda Davis. Um, I'm a mother first, uh, not a runner, and I boot camp with Sharon. <laughs> and yes, I'm also running to PE with Sharon. <laughs> Okay, well first and foremost, um, my dad died of cancer seven months ago, yesterday, when we ran the Cape Town Marathon. And um, so many people close to me have contracted cancer, have had cancer, have died of cancer, and Belinda will elaborate a bit on that as well. So I just felt that I needed to do something to make South Africans aware, actually people all over the world aware of the disease, how to prevent it, how to treat it when you contract it, and also how to successfully avoid it. Um, my mom also uh, had cancer. And the funny thing was, Sharon actually said to us one day at boot camp, oh, she's going to run to Cape Town actually at first. And we were all like, no, that's too crazy. Like, you can't run to Cape Town. <laughs> and one night I actually looked at my father and realized the severity of it when I saw and noticed the sadness you know how it had affected us all and that and I then realized that I needed to be a part of this and I needed to do it and um, decided to join Sharon on this venture. Well we've actually got my 72 year old father-in-law who is a cancer sufferer that's driving our support vehicle. He will stop every three k's or so, give us water, give us some electrolytes, give us some food, lock the doors when we want to give up and get in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We've been very blessed on this journey. All along this journey, we've got sponsored accommodation, guest houses that have opened their hearts to us. Mm -hmm. And we literally have the most amazing accommodation. We're actually sitting in one of them yes. right now, yeah. Point B Guest House. And um, we're just so blessed with this journey. So people have really opened up their hearts to us and they've taken us in. So all our accommodation along the route is sponsored. Oh, I've been running for a lifetime, probably mm -hmm. almost as long as Belinda's been alive. And I've just always been in love with running. I was that kid that started running at about the age of five when I started school and met an athletics track and I just never stopped. So I just fell in love with it. The distances became longer. I've done the Comrades. I've done the Two Oceans Marathons. I've done the stage trail runs. I've done the Ironman. <laughs> so if it's long and it's hard, I'm there like Fred Bear. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not a runner. Uh, I have done the occasional running here and there. I do enjoy trail running, uh, which is completely different to road running. We're arriving back at PE on Saturday the 7th of October. No. Hopefully to huge yeah. finish line <laughs> celebration. Please follow us on High Five Hope Run. We're about to set off into the sunset or maybe the sunrise or maybe the midday sun. <laughs> Also, please like our page on Facebook, the High Five Hope Run. Use our hashtag, Cancer Will Fall. Tag yourself in the pictures. Follow our journey. Get active.